everybody, this is Paige from Mosaic Moments and today I'm going to start off with a question. So if you have been using the Mosaic Moments dies specifically on your photographs, you may have noticed you get these crease lines around the edges of your photo. Now some of you probably don't mind it, but I know a lot of you hate these lines. So today I'm going to show you the solution and how you can avoid them. You just need one simple tool with your dye machine. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you that tool in a moment. So the simple tool you'll need to avoid these crease lines is a crease pad. This one is from Sizzix. This is the one we use. You can, of course, use it with the Sizzix dye machines, but I'm using it today on the Revolution from We Are Memory Keepers, so it works with that as well. So first I'm going to show you what your sandwich would probably look like without the crease pad. I'm going to do that by cutting with a piece of cardstock for one of my mats on my page here. All right, so I have the machine. I'm going to put my bottom plate down, then the magnetic mat. So this is the sandwich for the Revolution. Your sandwich may be different, so please look at the manufacturer's instructions on how to use your sandwich. All right, and then I'm going to put a piece of paper on top and then my die. And then I'm going to put a plastic plate on top, which on the Sizzix, if you have that, that's pretty typical. You have two plastic plates, right? Right, and then you roll it through the machine, and of course this cuts your mat. Right now I'm going to be cutting one of my photos here with the layering size die. The layering size meaning this size is smaller than the grid sizes. If you're not familiar with our basic die sets, go check out this video. I have a link in the top right corner, so go check it out if, you have, if you're not very familiar with the basic die sets. Anyway, so on the Revolution, I still have the same two bottom plates here with the magnetic mat underneath my photo, except now I have my photograph facing up and then my die, the cut part facing down. And then instead of the plastic plate, I put the crease pad on top. All right, so that's what you do. You just replace that top plate with the crease pad. I know a lot of you who have heard of the crease pad are really confused on where to use it. So my rule is don't ever cut into the crease pad. So don't have the die facing the cut part facing towards the crease pad. I'm going to do it here again with my next photograph. You notice the die was facing down towards the magnetic mat on the Revolution and then I put the crease pad on top. This is the same thing with any die machine you're using. So make sure the crease pad is on the side of the die the, uh, that's the flat part of the die. So here I'm using it on another photograph. You can see that the flat part is facing up and that's where you want to put the crease pad on. So I hope that all makes sense. If not, please ask me in the comments below. But basically for the most part your sandwich is going to be your base plate, which most machines have kind of a thicker plate. And then your cutting plate generally will come next. And then you have your photo and then your die facing down and then you're going to have the crease pad on top. And again the rule is don't cut into the crease pad. You know if you're cutting into it you have it going in the wrong direction. So on the Sizzix my sandwich might be the magnetic plate, the plastic plate in that case, and then you have your photo and your die and then the crease pad on top if you're having, if you're cutting it with the die facing down. So make sure if you're using the Sizzix that your dies are facing towards the plastic plate, not the crease pad. All right, I have all my photographs cut here. As you can see, it's pretty simple to use a crease pad. You just gotta remember those basic rules. You can also use the crease pad with the grid die, which is awesome. So just keep that in mind. You can also use it with the grid die. I already went ahead and taped it beforehand. And now I'm going to follow the same instructions. My photographs on the bottom and then my die and then the crease pad is on top. 
All right, and then I can roll that through and of course I can glue all those little one inch pieces down on my page. All right, I just wanna give you one fun little bonus tip. So this size mat can fit an entire four by six photograph, but you will see that the mat is not even all the way around like your other mats usually are. So one little trick I like to do, because you can have fun since you have a bigger gap here, I have these two one by one inch pieces of pattern paper and I'm gonna stick it on the side here and then I'm gonna put the other one on the other side and I'm gonna try to line them up as, to, as best I can. And once you have those two down, you can glue the back of your photograph. And then you're gonna stick it on top and it appears as if you have a larger, longer border behind your photo. So this is a great trick so you don't have to waste all of your pattern paper. You'd really just need the two one inch squares. All right, this completes today's demo on the crease pad. If you have any more questions about it, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's demo and I'll see you next time.